I guess, unique perspective on Tyler Russell, you know, since you haven't been with him this, you know, the whole time he's been here. And what have you seen of his progression from, from game I one just, to now? I just can't even tell you how impressed I am with Tyler Russell and his development as a quarterback just over the course of, of seven games this season. Yeah. Extremely composed. I think that's the number one attribute a quarterback can have is, is calmness under duress. Yeah. And he does an amazing job of coming to the boundary during the course of the game and able to communicate exactly what he sees in the game. We all know he's got a great arm. He's doing a tremendous job. Coach Kenny has done a great job with him with his feet in the pocket, going through his progression reads, yeah. uh, going from one to two to three, yeah. uh, and, and doing it very smoothly. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you what, the other thing about him is he stares down the gun barrel about as well as anybody I've been around. Yeah. I mean, he'll stand in that pocket, and he'll look at that pass rush, and he'll deliver the football. Yeah. And uh, he just does a – I'll tell you what, again, like I said, I just think he's really – done an outstanding job and he's going to do nothing but keep getting better. Well, how much easier does that make your job as a receiver's coach? You can well, tell the guys, you know what, just do what you're going to do. Tyler's going to get the this ball. Is, this is the deal. Okay, accuracy is really hard to coach. Yeah. Either you can throw it where you want it, as hard as you want it, or else you can't. Tyler Russell can throw it as hard as he wants it, where he wants to throw it. He's an extremely accurate quarterback. He allows us to catch the ball and run with it, and that's what we want to do in this offense yeah. is catch and run. Wasn't Alabama's secondary supposed to take a step backwards this year? No, there, there's no backward steps at Alabama. I mean, they're taking forward steps all the time. Uh, coach Saban has done an amazing job there. Coach Saban is a secondary coach, and he's probably one of the better ones in the country. And so uh, the thing I look at on tape when I look at Alabama's secondary is they're extremely disciplined. They're exactly where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be there. Their breaks on the ball are, are better than, than, than most. And... Uh, it's certainly going to be a big challenge for our core receivers on Saturday night to be able to get open because it's going to be tough sledding running the football all night long against that front seven that Alabama's got. How good is D. Milliner in particular? Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. I mean, I, I look at D. As, as being one of those guys comparable to Slay, comparable to Banks as the you know top corners in the country. You know, you're not going to you're not going to get any better than those three right there. I apologize you've been asked this, but Robert Johnson catches a touchdown pass last week. You've talked repeatedly about how much you love Rojo and what he's mm -hmm. doing for you. Mm -hmm. It seems like that progression every week is happening. It's all confidence. It's all confidence with Rojo. And my job with him is not to beat him down, but to lift him up. Right. And, th and that's what I've done with him is make sure he understands that Thank you, coach. You know, he's going to improve. He works extremely hard day in and day out. And, and the fruits of his labor are, are coming to, you know, it's coming to fruition for the kid. I mean, He's going to be, he, he's, he's outstanding.